Well, welcome to Inkscape. Um, I'm going to be teaching this on the Mac. And uh, one of the first things I need to tell you about working with Inkscape on a Macintosh is that it's a, a little bit different than uh, what we might normally be used to working with on a Mac. For example, um, when we're in a, an application like Safari or any other application on the Mac, all of our menu items are always at the top here. That's how just that's just how the Macintosh works. Um, but with Inkscape, it actually uses another application called X11, which you can see up here in the top left. And X11 has its own menus, but we won't really ever use those. All of our menus are actually in the window of the document that we're working on. So when I start, when I say go up to the file menu, I'm actually pointing right here to these menus. And when I move my window around, the menu follows with it. And that's just the way that Inkscape works. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that there are a number of things, almost too many things to look at around the window in Inkscape. But the key things that I will be focusing on are the menu items here that we just mentioned previously, the tools here off to the left, and the color selection down here at the bottom. I'll occasionally get into some other stuff, but for the most part, these are the areas that I will focus on for our training. And the last thing to introduce to you is that we have our art board. This is where the art that gets printed will be placed. But we also have this other desktop area or this other surface area where we can place things just like we would here. They just don't get printed out. And the reason I want to mention that is because this is a good place to experiment with stuff all along the sides here. Um, you can you know, create something and, and make a copy of it and then bring it to the board, uh, whatever you'd like to do. So we'll be using these spaces uh, throughout the training. 